Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Today we're going to take a look at this guy. This is the Yesu FT3D. This was loaned to me by my friend Ed, KI5OSB. And we're going to do a comparison, kind of, side-by-side -side of what the signals look like on these two radios. Um, we're not doing a review of both the radios, just the signal tests like I've been doing in this series. But we'll see what they look like together. So... Stick around. Let me get uh, this guy hooked up, and we'll go from there. Okay, we've got our FT3D hooked up. Let's set the spectrum analyzer. We're going to set our start frequency of 100 megahertz, and we'll set our stop to 500 for our VHF test. And you're going to set our resolution bandwidth down a little tighter. Let's take that down to 30 kilohertz. So we have dropped our noise floor way down. All right. And let's turn on our peak table right here. So we'll see our peaks down here. <coughs> okay. Got the camera zoomed in. <laughs> this cable's kind of awkward. And we've got our FT3D hooked up. So here's VHF on the FT3D. Uh, right here and you can see we have a very clear peak at that one marker and there is nothing else showing up on that guy at all so that's looking great all right let's hook up to the FT5D and see what that looks like here's the FT5D and it looks pretty much the same the one peak and there's nothing down there absolutely nothing showing up in that noise there might be something right here trying to peek up its ugly head but it's so small that it's just it's lost in the noise absolutely all right let's flip our radios over to uhf and give that a shot okay so we got our radio swapped over let's change our spectrum analyzer and let's change our start frequency to 400 megahertz and we're going to set our stop to 1.5 and I didn't do this 1.5 gigahertz. I didn't do this the other day, and it's fine. It, it didn't really matter, but we're looking for harmonics, and a harmonic of 446, the first harmonic, is going to be 892. So on this spectrum analyzer, it only goes up to 1.5 gigahertz. So if we're looking for those harmonics, we need to have our sweep range as wide as possible to see some harmonics. With the VHF frequency we can see the second and third harmonics under 500 megahertz. Actually, we might be able to go to four. I'd have to do math. But in any case, to do UHF, we need to open this up as far as this particular spectrum analyzer will go. So if there was a harmonic, the only one we'd really be able to see is the second harmonic on this. Okay, so now we're set for UHF. And let's key up. And this is the FT3D. And you can see here we have the one spike, and I don't see anything else peeking its head up above the noise. So that's great. Now I'm going to connect up the 5D. Here's the FT5D on UHF. And again, still a super clean signal. It's, it's a Yesu. It's what we expected. This is, we've already done a video on the 5D. Nothing, nothing new here. Guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks, y'all. 73.